What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. We stepped out for a minute in order to get some sunshine. I seen the sun was shining out here today. I said, let me go ahead and step outside and see what the word is. You know what I'm saying? Here the city, the cars, see the people walking back and forth. Hey, how you doing? And uh, everybody is in a good space, I think, for the most part. Um, I take a, a path, a different path, but I always try to go through a certain spot when I take a different path every day um, in order to get into the office. So I prefer to come into the office. I do not prefer to work from home, regardless of where I am. I don't even like working from home when I'm out of town because uh, what it does is it kind of just doesn't put me in that workspace environment. I think when you're too comfortable, um, you get a little bit more lethargic. And so I'm really mindful about my workspaces because I think that it makes me more productive. And on top of that, I think it makes me work a lot more efficient and faster. But with that being said, I think that one of the things that's really, really bothering people and one of the reasons why I also think that Biden is going to lose this election is that people are broke. Two things, they broke and they tired. And it ain't just black people. Although the majority of the people that we probably surround ourselves uh, with, just based off of proximity and stuff, may be black culture, but everybody, and I mean everybody is broke and tired. I know I am. Maybe not the broke part, but definitely the tired part. Um, a lot of people are broke and tired, and they're tired of not really getting no results regardless of how often they wake up. Um, I think the difference between back in the day and now is that people have always been tired, but you can't be broke and tired because that means you have no incentive to continue to work hard as hell. So let's take people back in the day, right? Because I like to talk to older people and even some of my mentors, um, and I like to get some insight into what their mindset is because things are so much different today. When I see people complaining, for example, today, let's say these women, right? Let's just take the women into the consideration. And I say, oh man, women are always complaining about this and that. And they saying, oh my God, raising a kid and stuff. It's nothing like it was back in the day at all. When you had to wash your clothes, you had to get that board and physically wash each and every garment and get all of the, the dirt out of it and the grind. And then you got to have to go and hang it up on a clothes hanger and stuff. Now, what they think is doing laundry, I do that every day. I just throw a throw a, a load in a washing machine, uh, make sure I put the smell goods in there and the fabric softener, put the little pod in there, and then I'm, I'm gone. I'm keeping it moving, I'm gone. And so that's easy. That's easy, you know? And then I call my cleaners, and they, they come and pick, out, pick up some of my hoodies. I wash my own dishes when I'm, you know, or I just throw it in a dishwasher. That's not the same as it used to be, but people seem like they're more tired than ever. Now, how come people back in the day was less likely to complain? They had more problems, uh, more barriers to entry as far as resources and money and stuff like that, but they still got way more done. They was more productive. They kept their family together and they were able to grow, especially when you're talking about wealth and resources and stuff like that. Well, it's because they seen progress, they seen an opportunity, or or even if they didn't for themselves, they did it for things that was much bigger than them, including their children or the people that came before them, or you know, when they stood on something, it was based off of the civil rights movement and stuff like that, just giving a, a thumbs up to the people, saying what up though, what up? Um, but they had something that they did it for, and so any progress or any movement or any reason for what it is that you stood for, when you got there, it was fulfilling. And that's the thing that I think that we chase. And we chasing fulfillment. We not necessarily chasing stuff. The stuff then becomes the residual effect of the fulfillment. I seen Will Smith, and I'm gonna talk about this on After Hours tonight. I didn't do After Hours last night and I always keep a day throughout the week or a couple of days throughout the week in order to be a uh, do a replacement stream just in case something is happening or anything like that. So we gonna live stream tonight and then we gonna live stream on Saturday night. Uh, on After Hours. I seen a video of Will Smith. Actually, I might review that on the Millionaire Morning Show today. I seen a video with Will Smith and it was a clip. And it was on Complex. And I think that he's doing a run for this new Bad Boys movie. 
And he was basically saying, listen, life changed for him at 50 when he had already did everything, he bought everything, there was nothing else that he could buy and he had to do that work within, you know what I'm saying? And basically what he was saying, what a lot of people, a lot of people will never ever be able to experience is that money is not going to be the fulfilling thing once you start to explore what life is, the meaning of life really is. Money is a tool, it's not the end all be all. And so when you see what's happening within this economy, when you see what's happening with inflation, when you see homelessness is still exploding, worse than it's ever been before since the Great Depression, when you see even 2008 crisis, people still had a place to go to and they, whether they bundled up and they got with each other or whatever, when you see these relationships failing, when you see people you know, having to work two jobs just to survive by themselves, when you see this single mother parents and all of this stuff, right? When everything is continuing to play out the way that it's playing out in the economy, then inflation is going up, meaning that your dollar is not going to extend any further, even though you're getting raises and, and they laying off more than they ever have before. And people are starting to go back to the gig economy because they raise a minimum wage over in California to $20, $25 an hour. And then people still ain't going to never get no progress because, you know, the cost of living is going to continue to go up and they're going to try to pass that cost over to, to over to the consumer. I, I don't see him getting back in office because I don't think that he's really solving for the real problems. And so what they try to do is they try to throw you a distraction. They say, hey, focus on Diddy. Hey, focus on this bridge collapse. Hey, we're going to talk about abortion on the campaign trail. They're not solving for the fundamental issues and problems that people are dealing with on a regular basis. When people can't pay their bills and they don't feel like they have no opportunity to be able to get out of it, then you get civil unrest. That's a recipe for, for disaster. Because then on top of that, the thing that y'all advocated for and voted for was defunding the police. Now the police won't even respond to you. I see what's happening over in Pittsburgh. I see what's happening over in Oakland. And when you just have 100% despair 100% of the time or people don't feel like they can get themselves out of it, people are okay for a minute not having no resources. As long as they can see the, the light at the end of the tunnel. It's like a a person that is going into college, right? And college students are supposed to be broke and they okay with being broke. But once they get past that brokenness and they start to get into a different space of their life, they're like, wait a minute, man. I want something actually good to come out of this. And if they don't see no progress at all, then that's when they start to, you know, go down that dark path and then they just go left or, you know what I'm saying? They start leveraging their insight to do something negative and then they wind up in it. It, it could be a, a, a bevy of different things that happen as a result of it. But the point that I'm trying to make is that, and I'm going to go back to the, my, my original statement, people are tired and they broke at the same time. And when you got tired and broken and you surrounded with all of this other stuff, it's a recipe for disaster. It's a recipe for disaster. I was always okay. When I didn't have no money, I was okay because I seen what the potential was and I knew that I was going to get some money. I knew I was going to get some money. You know what I'm saying? But when people is out here and then they not getting no money and they tired, what they'll do is they'll pretend to be happy or they'll substitute it with stuff that's not actually adding value into their life. They'll substitute it. They'll get those temporary dopamine hits. They fronting on the gram. They talking a lot of stuff, but it's not actually going to get the thing. It's not going to get them to where they need to be. And then that's going to affect how it is that they're treating you. Because then they, don't, they don't just internalize it amongst themselves. It starts to affect everybody else around them too. Because then they want to make your life uncomfortable. And that's what I see happening. People are just distracted with all of this bullshit that's happening out here. But they're not getting no results. And it's not going to result in anything except for any more civil, uh, more civil unrest. And that's the time where people start to revolt. And pray that that don't happen. Pray that that don't happen. Listen. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, we about to get out here and pop it off for the Millionaire Morning Show. And uh, live streaming tonight on After Hours. So, I love my city. Shout out to Detroit. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to see y'all on the Millionaire Morning Show.